What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World, and today we're going to be taking a look at where the new Easter eggs are. Now, they made one uh, very, very clear for you by just giving it to you in the Easter scramble, all right? As usual, it's going to be a three-minute quarter game. I know you guys don't like doing it. For the most of you guys that I've gotten to do it, that, you know, uh, some of my viewers buy packs, some of you guys grind, okay? Uh, for my viewers that buy the packs, you know, most of you guys are saying that I got you guys doing it. Um, I appreciate you guys listening only because, you know why? I know it's three minutes, but when you chew clock, it, it, it probably runs you about maybe seven to ten minutes, all right? Just to get those eggs, and then that way you can try to, you know, utilize whatever you make with this to add to more of what you're getting when you buy packs. Because if you buy packs, more than likely, you know, you get lucky with certain pulls, you know what I'm saying? So it works out for you. So just make sure you guys understand that, and, um, you know... Just try to get as much as EA is giving you, even if you buy packs and you immediately sell the stuff off and you make coins and stuff like that. If you can make free coins, why not? You know what I'm saying? So that's where it is. The solo is just obvious uh, for um, today, which is uh, April 2nd, 2018. Now, in the store, you're going to go over to players all the way to the right, and you're going to be able to get three of these. Okay, so we're going to buy them. Like I said, we're going to buy them just to buy them. Do we really care? Like I said, I've already gotten Lawrence Taylor. So it doesn't really matter to me, you know, and yeah, you know, I could stop buying them, but you, you don't never know what EA is going to do. So what I say is I always recommend just having them. And right now I'm not even doing anything as far as tortoises or anything. I'm just keeping them because what EA does is in, in several instances, they always have like a special thing where you can use something from the past. But like I said, if you want to make the coins right now, just use the two eggs, get a tortoise, sell the tortoise. That's it. Very, very simple. Go ahead and do that. All right. So those are where those eggs are. Now, like I told you guys, instead of searching through the sets, you're going to go over to your item binder. You're going to go to type and then you're going to go to collectible and then you're going to see which one goes to what today. All right. So silver token. Let's go. OK, there it goes. Easter scramble silver token exchange. So it's a silver token exchange. We don't care where it's at. I don't care where it is in those sets. We already got it. That's all we care about. Right. We're going to check to see if there's a gold one by checking it right now. And there's no gold one, that's pretty much it. Okay, so there's no gold one today. All right, so you're done. All right, so then you back out, you see, check how many eggs you got, and then you can figure out what you want to start doing with it. Right now, we got like 18. All right, so I told you guys already, but I had someone else leave a comment about, uh, yo, G. Maya, should we start using our eggs to get these, um, the Easter egg hunt captain? I'm going to tell you guys, look, it's up to you, right? EA is going to be releasing these special egg things up until April 9th. So if all you've been doing is collecting eggs, you're going to be able to get one of these. I, you know, And it's going to be for free. After you get them, I don't know if it's going to be worth it if you didn't use it to do the tortoise method and then get LT first. Because you see, my LT still holds value. I can still sell LT for at least 950k right now and get up to almost 4 million. These cards right here, I think they're actually on the... On the actual auction, I saw a lot because you could actually pull these out of packs and they weren't going for that much. So I don't, it depends on how you want to do it because remember, all right, 60 eggs is like, so half of that is 30. So it's 30 tortoises. So it's 30 times 10K. So for every 10, that's 300K, right? Is that 300K? I don't know, 30 times 10K because 10 times 10K is, yeah, so it's like 300K. So for those 60 eggs, you can make 300K by getting 30 tortoises. So it's up. However you want to do it and it mathematically makes sense for you, I want you to be happy with your decision. But if you're asking me, should you do it for this? I would say no. Now, let's go take a look at it. Just let's go look at it. Just just for the hell of it. Let's just look at it and see if it would make sense for you to save the 60 eggs. Because I already told you and I showed you how I use mine. So let's go over here and we're going to go over to um, the program. And we're going to take a look at what's going on. So we can, we can all together see, is it really, really worth it what's going on, right? Okay, so quality, I think they're like, what, like 97s? So let's see what's going on. Okay, all right, where are the 97 guys that we're looking for? Because I know that that's what those other dudes were, right? Um, I guess none of them are on the auction house. Oh, no, Fletcher Cox was one of them, right? Was he? No, no, he is he? No, he's an Easter Scramble. It was, uh, I know it's the guy from the Vikings, right? Uh, the guy from the Vikings. Hold up, what's the overall? Hold up, team. Because I know Thielen is one of them. So let me see. Is anybody there from, the, okay, so 96 to 90, 97, 98 to 99, nobody either. 
So what is what is the overall? Because if he's not on there, and I saw I saw some of them on there already, um, people actually pull them. So maybe they all maybe they they're all sold. I guess because I didn't see any of them on there. But like I said, I I don't think that it's worth it to wait for the sixty eggs because regardless of it, the the speed you could check their speed and everything on Mudhead and uh, for Thielen and stuff like like I, they're not gonna go for that much you know, more than what's happening. Like, okay, I remember that that guy is like a 70-something speed. Alex Mack is decent, the center. And I can't remember what he was going for when I saw him on the auction house. But a lot of you guys were asking me, how were they on the auction house? And that's the simple answer. You can actually pull them out of packs. But again, because of the speed threshold and a lot of the other attributes that some of the cards have, even if you wait this out, I don't think mathematically it's going to matter. Because you can make 300 k for the same amount by trading in tortoises. And then if you trade it in and you get 30 tortoises, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just it just equals each other. So if you really want one of those players and you want them for free, go ahead and do it. Would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend you wait. I would say just go ahead and grind out the eggs and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and you see where it goes from there. Now, as far as everything else goes with the team, this is where we are right now. We got Ben Roethlisberger. I already told you guys, conductor, toughness, whatever. We got toughness, cam, tier five. These are... The, see... I have to make a decision very, very soon what I'm going to want to do. I'm going to need a new center, right? But the center is probably going to have to be ultimate legend. He's probably going to have to have toughness chem or, you know, whatever, because I'm keeping these guys because of speed. A lot of you guys keep asking me like, yo, bro, why don't you upgrade your, you know, your right guard and your left guard? Because at any given time, I'm going to run more pitch and it's going to be savage, bro. Like I'm going to keep running it like every single play. Like it's going to be, I'm going to have demon fireballs in my eyeballs as I'm running it. All right, that, that's how serious I am about running more pitch. So that's the reason behind why I haven't really upgraded these two individual positions. The center, on the other hand, I got to get one because this guy, you know, this guy Linder is kind of a bum. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you about it, but he does um, add to the toughness chem and he does give us the 95 impact blocking. So it's useful to, a, you know what I'm saying? It's useful to a certain extent for, you know, for us and, and the way the lineup is. Now, you might be wondering, why is this idiot still there? The simple answer to that is I got nobody else to replace him right now. Like I'm if you look at every other card, right? And the only thing that really makes it like, yo, why do you still have this guy is the 91 speed. Because like why, you know, seriously, why would you have this guy on your team? But he actually does a lot more than people think. Um he he's very, very deceptive when it comes to burning people deep. And he's a decent blocker and he has decent catch in traffic, which doesn't really matter. You know, I, I don't know if you guys remember. You remember when we thought that catching traffic mattered in Thanksgiving because they, and they released this and they were like, yo, it's a free card. It's no way that it matters. And we were right about it. And everybody drops the ball. Yeah, we were always right from the from the get go. But I keep him there. His playmaker cam comes in handy sometimes, you know, to get the proper uh, playmaking aspect. So it's it's beneficial. And then Steve Atwater, we keep in as an additional blocker if we want to for more pitch. So it kind of works out in that regard as well. All right. So. Would that be, and then Bo Jackson right here, some people are saying that they can't really find him on the auction house. The reason is he's probably the most beneficial at this position, okay? To be able to play tight end and halfback is huge offensively because you can do whatever you want with him. So that's probably why there are none available. If you have to complete the set though, it's still available, but um, you got to check some of those prices. I believe that some of them are very, very expensive. If it's costing you too much, even though you can pick a couple Bo Jacksons from offense and defense, I don't know. I'd have to evaluate that and see if it's still worth it. But his card is still pretty suitable for right now. Defensively, I told you guys we got Lawrence Taylor. Okay, so he, like I said, he does what he's supposed to do. He sets the edge. He's not really, um, he's not really exploding off the edge like he should. But he does set the edge. If you if you run into a guy that just wants to run inside zone every play, you could just leave him blitzing off the edge, and he'll take care of that. And um, looking at his stats really closely. You'll go ahead and see that 99 power moves, 97 block shed, 99 hit power, which in my opinion doesn't matter, 99 tackle. Those are pretty good, but it doesn't really matter about his 99 tackle. Um, he's a secure tackler. So if you go for a conservative tackle by pressing the X button on the PS4 or the A button on the Xbox, he's going to more than likely always tackle that defender. They're not going to be able to break off a tackle from this guy. So that's also very beneficial. Sean Taylor also comes in with secure tackler. We have Bo Jackson uh, with Unfakeable. LaDainian Tomlinson, I've been running around with him a little bit more because I just realized in my last video that he has hot hands. And he did actually get me a really good pick. 
in one of my most recent games. If you guys want to check out any of my gameplays, you can click that link in the description box where it says Twitch. And when you go to Twitch, if I'm not actually live, you can click on my most recent broadcast. And then you can go ahead and see what I've done for the day or whatever like that if you want to see gameplay with these players because that's the way that I usually have it available for everybody to see how it works. From time to time, I'll give you guys some gameplay, but you guys, for the most part, want to know what I'm doing and the method to my madness. And that's what I'm explaining right now. Anthony Barr is just there right now. He's not actively playing. Ken Houston is a stud. I like what he does. Rod Woodson has been pretty good for me. Okay, I, I will, rec you know, like I said, I don't recommend spending a million coins for a corner, but I did pull him Nat as a free ultimate legend. I think he's working out pretty well for us. Pierre Paul, he's going to be replaced very soon. Not sure when, though. Not sure when, but he'll be gone very, very soon. Okoye is going to be here for now. The Dominican Sioux, we've got to figure out. Miles Garrett still making plays for the most part. Ladder Goat, a.k.a. Ladder Bay, a.k.a. Ladder Daddy. I miss you, bruh. Night Train Lane, he's doing his thing. And then for special teams, we still got this dude that just got released from the Raiders, uh, Marquette King. We got Bo Jackson as kicker still. He can still make a 60-plus yarder, so he's fine. LaDainian Tomlinson and Deion Sanders returning kicks. So that's what the team is right now. And what we're, what we're working on trying to do is we're going to build that D line that I just showed you. And we're going to be trying to make them physical front. So we're going to be working with that in the next coming videos. And I'm going to build my team based on that. As always, you guys and girls know what to do. Leave any questions or comments or concerns that you may have. I will do my best to get back to you, make a video about it, respond to you, or with the way that our community is growing, maybe people can continue to do what they're doing and answer the question even before I see it. Just be cordial. Have respect for one another. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Let's go for a video view goal of 11,000. Enjoy the rest of your holiday week. One love.